Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use responsive option sets in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. When it comes to website design, responsive design can be difficult. With many form factors and screen sizes, tools are needed to differentiate your design on different devices. Avada is already fully responsive, and there are many global options and tools to control responsive design. See the Responsive Design in Avada video for more information on responsive design in general. But in this video, we're going to take a deeper look at the main responsive tool in the Avada Builder, namely the responsive option sets. These give you much more granular control over your layout than the global options alone can. This powerful feature allows you to design independently for multiple screen sizes, using the same elements. This is achieved by allowing some specific element options to hold up to three sets of values, corresponding with large, medium and small screen sizes. Let's have a closer look. OK, so how and where do we find these responsive option sets? They can be found in virtually all elements, but the majority of them are found in columns and containers. Let's start by editing a container here on the factory prebuilt. Responsive option sets are denoted by a screen size icon on the specific options. Here on the Content Wrap option, for example, we can see the screen size icon to the right of the option. Responsive options can hold three different values, or sets of values, for large, medium and small screens. You can also use this icon to toggle the responsive options, just as you can use the responsive icon in the toolbar. On Containers, we also find a few responsive options on the Design tab, with Margins and Padding, and on the Background tab, with Container Background Color, and background image. On columns, on the design tab, the first six options here have responsive option sets available on large screens, and on medium and small screen view there is one more for ordering the columns. See the linked video for more information on that. The columns also have the same background color and background image options on the background tab as containers do. With elements there are fewer responsive options, as the options on the holding containers and columns are generally enough. What are on the elements will differ from element to element. Typically it will be alignment, and margin, and a few others. Before I show an example, it's useful to understand the default responsive behavior of columns. If we look in the global options, at Avada Builder Elements, Column, you can see that there are two options to specify what happens to column width on both medium and small screens. By default, Columns on medium screens inherit from the desktop layout, and columns on small screens go full width. So that's the default behavior, and in general is a great rule of thumb for responsive design. But there might be times when you want to refine this. So let's see some responsive option sets in action. I'll just scroll down to the services section here. So as we mouse over these columns, we can see that on large screens, these individual columns are one quarter size. I'll just edit that column, and on the Design tab, we can see that its width is set to one quarter, and there is a large screen icon next to the option. So now if we switch to the medium screen size, either from the toolbar, or from the responsive icons within the element itself, we can see that these columns have been changed to one half width columns for medium screens. And so in this case, are not inheriting the large screen option, as the global defaults on this site would dictate. And if we go further down to the small screen view, we can see the width here is on default, so they are full width here, following the global default. Using the responsive option sets, we could for example even change these first two columns to one half columns as well, and leave the other ones on default. But just be careful with multiple columns on small screens, and make sure to test on an actual device to see if your design is going to work. Just because there is an option, it doesn't mean it's smart to use it in every case. In this example, half columns wouldn't work on small screens because of the text, so I will set this back to how it was with the history states. As well as changing the size of columns on various screen sizes, you can also change their order. Please see the linked video for specific examples of this. These responsive option sets give you enormous control over your responsive layouts. At most times, however, your use of responsive option sets will be more subtle. One of the most common ways I use it is to adjust the padding and margins on containers and columns on medium and small screens. For example, if we look on the services page, we can see this column has no bottom margin. It's the same on medium screens. 
but on small screens when the column next to it sits underneath, a margin of 60 pixels has been applied to control the spacing between the two columns. Ok, that's the responsive option sets. It's one of the most powerful tools at your disposal to ensure your website has great responsive design. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.